So say you need to send an image to someone. Say you're entering a competition, for example, and they ask for you to send them a thumbnail along with your image. And they tell you that it can't be any wider or taller than 400 pixels. That's in the longest dimension. And you need to go ahead and do that with this image. Well, how do you go ahead and do something like that? The first thing you need to do, need to do is go to Image, Image Size. And you want to click Constrain Proportions, which it's selected right now. You want to make sure that you have Resample Image selected. And so they're telling you that it can't be bigger than 400 pixels in the widest area of the picture. And if you look up here, you can see that the width has more pixels than the height. So we're going to say here, 400 pixels. And automatically, it will convert the height proportionally because we've clicked on Constrained Proportions. Now, what we're doing is we're reducing this image, right? So here, we want to choose the best method, method for reducing the image. So right now, we're going to choose Bicubic Sharper, which is best for reduction, OK? Because we're going, we went, we're going from a 5.5 meg file to a 413k file. This originally was, I don't remember, 1,200 or something. So you go in here, you put your maximum size that they're telling you that you can put in pixels. Make sure you have constraint and resample selected before you change these numbers. Make sure you choose bicubic sharper for reduction if you're making it smaller, or smoother if you're making it bigger, or if you have gradients in there. In this case, we're choosing this one, and we're going to say OK. And there you go. You can see the image is quite small now, and you're done.